John chapter 316. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. This verse is one of the most famous expressions of Jesus' unconditional love. God loved us so much that he sent his only Son, Jesus, to save us. Jesus gave his life for us, not because we were deserving, but simply because he loves us. His love is a gift, not something we can earn. Simply put God loves us so much that he sent Jesus to help us and lift us up. No matter what mistakes we've made. Romans chapter 58. But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. This means a love that is given freely without expecting anything in return. It's a kind of love that doesn't depend on someone's actions, behavior, or worthiness. It's a complete and selfless love, like the love Jesus shows. This verse shows that Jesus' love doesn't change even when we make mistakes. While we were still sinners, Jesus gave his life for us. He didn't wait for us to become perfect, he loved us just as we are. Simply put Jesus loves us even when we make mistakes. And he showed this love by sacrificing himself for us. Luke 154-7 Parable of the Lost Sheep Suppose one of you has a hundred sheep and loses one of them. Doesn't he leave the ninety-nine in the open country and go after the lost sheep until he finds it? In this parable, Jesus talks about a shepherd who goes out of his way to find one lost sheep. Even if one sheep is missing, he leaves the other ninety-nine to go and search for the lost one. This shows how Jesus will never give up on anyone, no matter how far they've gone. Simply put even when we go off track or feel lost, Jesus doesn't give up on us. He always looks for us and wants to bring us back with love. The message woven through all these verses is clear. The love that God and Jesus have for humanity is profound, unbreakable, and completely unconditional. This kind of love brings with it several significant implications. Firstly, it means that we are valued and cherished. Regardless of our flaws and imperfections, this assurance can be a source of immense comfort and strength. Secondly, it encourages us to extend this same unconditional love to others, promoting a more forgiving, compassionate, and understanding world. Many people have found a sense of peace and purpose in these teachings. They feel uplifted, knowing that they are loved without condition. They learn to forgive themselves and others more easily, recognizing that mistakes do not define their worth. They strive to emulate this boundless love in their own lives, fostering a spirit of kindness and grace. So, what about you? How does the concept of unconditional love resonate with you? Have you experienced a moment where this kind of love impacted your life profoundly? Share your thoughts and stories with us we'd love to hear from you. The unconditional love described in these verses reminds us that no matter our past, our struggles, or our failures, we are deeply loved and valued. This love offers a profound sense of peace and hope, knowing that there's a guiding force that accepts us as we are. It also challenges us to reflect this love in our daily lives, to be more compassionate and understanding towards others, just as we are loved unconditionally. What about you? How does this message of unconditional love resonate with you? Have you ever felt this kind of love or extended it to someone else? We would love to hear your thoughts and experiences. Share your stories and insights. And let's explore this beautiful concept together.